Ahoy mates, I'm Alicia Gentile and welcome to Friday's episode of The Voters TV. For those of you who didn't catch Wednesday's episode, I am the new co-host for The Voters TV. I have a media background from working at local news stations here in Miami, where we are based, and I am very excited to be a part of TBTV. With that, let's see what's splashing around in nautical news. Making a splash today, or perhaps I should say sink, in Watsonville, California, the president and CEO of West Marine Incorporated, Peter Harris, has called it quits. This news is no surprise to those who've been watching the company's less than stellar performance during Harris's three-year tenure. Despite several initiatives to move forward, West Marine's financial results have been disappointing, resulting in many store closures around the nation. West Marine board chairman and company founder Randy Rapace says, It has been a tough period for our entire industry. The difficult management decisions Peter had to make along the way have produced encouraging progress on a number of important fronts and set the stage for further operational improvements in the period ahead. We wish Peter well in his future endeavors. West Marine announced that it has named Jeff Eisenberg as Harris's successor. Harris has agreed to be a good sport and assist with the transition through the end of the year. Eisenberg is certainly not new to the game of being a CEO. In fact, Eisenberg is a past CEO of Saul's Leathers Incorporated. Most recently, Eisenberg ran the Eisenberg Company, specializing in CEO training and professional management development. Talk about a go-getter. Hopefully Eisenberg gets those sales up for West Marine. Hmm, I've got a solution. West Marine should start advertising on the Boaters TV. Come on, give us a call. Next up, it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week. This week, we'll take a look at the Cruiser's Yachts 360 Express. The 360 Express is a fresh new design offering greater entertaining amenities, a fiberglass hardtop, and some new innovations guaranteed to increase your yachting fun. Working our way to the boat's outdoor entertainment zone, you'll find spacious U-shaped seating that converts for meals or for tanning with the installation of a high-low table. A jumbo front sun pad is optional and features recliners built with all composite construction. An optional hardtop shields the entire cockpit from the sun. I also like how the support stanchions don't block the captain's view over the bow. As for the view of the helm, the ultra sporty dash is simplified by the use of digital display monitors and controls for the engines. Now I know you think the cockpit is really exciting, but wait till we go downstairs below deck and see what's down there. The salon uses an open floor layout with a queen size island berth forward. Ample storage space can be found on both sides of the headliner. The cabin's ultra leather sofa happily seats four adults and will sleep two people with the optional convertible double bunk unit that we show here. Your company may prefer to enjoy the spaciousness of the mid cabin lounge that offers generous wraparound seating and can be easily transformed into a queen size sleeping area. Coffee maker, microwave oven combo, real neat. And this two burner cooktop. The richness of the galley continues into the head compartment. It features a separate shower stall and stunning detail work at the vanity and the tiled floor. Including the extended swim platform, the Express is 38 feet long and has a performance conscious beam of 12 feet 6 inches. Equipped with gas engines, she weighs 20,000 pounds and has a fuel capacity of 300 gallons. She comes standard with Volvo Penta stern drive propulsion, but can be specced out with inboards or diesel power as well. On a very choppy day in Florida's west coast, we cruised at 25.6 miles per hour and reached an admirable top speed of 37 miles per hour with twin 420 horsepower Mercruiser inboards. Cruiser's Yachts has taken all the amenities and features of a big boat and slimmed it down into a smaller package, making it a little bit more affordable and definitely a lot more fun. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the 360 Express from Cruiser's Yachts, you can cruise on over to the Boat Test's website, www.boattest.com. 
Next up, in just for the hull of it, if you've been procrastinating on that gift shopping, we've got some suggestions for keeping things boaty this holiday season. Since we can't all afford the bling 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 Mac Daddy fishing lore Julie featured in last Friday's episode, I've got some gift ideas within reason. Surehold Industries offers two great gift ideas. Boaters will appreciate the clever dock or any dock line holding tool. The gadget eliminates the hassle of tying up. The dock or any is easily attached to any boat pole with its integrated Velcro strap and the UV resistant tool holds a dock line loop. Sureholds Dock or any retails for $9.95. If that doesn't float your boat, how about a comprehensive encyclopedia of boating tips DVD? With three hours of video and loads of bonus material, Sureholds Encyclopedia of Boating Tips DVD covers everything from anchors to zincs. The cost on this useful resource is $24.95. I found these great gifts on fishingworld.com. For the ladies, how about a nice boat tote? You can personalize this gift with that special lady's initials, and it comes in small, medium, and large. This is definitely a great accessory for lugging around personal belongings on a boat trip. Oh, now what woman is going to bring a lot with her on a boat trip? Hmm. This tote was featured in InStyle magazine and can be found on llbean.com. The small tote is only 22 bucks and the largest one is only 36. Certainly a great price that won't put a dent in your wallet. And finally today, it's time to reveal Alicia's TheBoaters.com Celebrity Profile Pick of the Day, which is Captain J. Peter Halberton and his 1977 PY-23 AMF pace ship, Serenity. And speaking of serene, check out some of Peter's gorgeous photos. Look at that sunset. Captain Peter is based up in Lewisport, Newfoundland, Canada. In his captain profile, Peter tells us about Notre Dame Bay. He says these protected waters have been called the Caribbean of the North and a best kept secret. In fact, he has recently formed the Notre Dame Bay Sailing Club to coordinate more social sailing and promote sailing in the bay. We'd love to hear that. Hey, I have an idea. Bring the group over to theboaters.com. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Boaters TV. Join us back here on Monday. Until then, a safe and happy boating weekend to you all.